Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be another quicker one, but a really, really easy one to do. I'm just creating two Dollar Tree signs using leftover fall decorations and a box. So I have this sign from the Dollar Tree. Um, it was one of those harvest signs and I didn't wind up using it. I thought I would use it for something for fall decorations, but I didn't wind up using it. So I am going to go ahead and create a Christmas sign from this one. And I also bought this window cling from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using it for my sign. So after I remove the tags and the little rope, I want to fill in these holes. And I'm just using some um, drywall compound, which I always use, like the, the drywall mud or whatever it's called. And I just use that to fill it in. It's mostly because I have this big bucket and I find that it works pretty well. I think I saw someone else in a video do this and I thought that was a really neat idea. So I've used some of these stickers already and I can link some of those videos above. And all I'm doing is I'm using some Mod Podge and I am applying it to the back of the little truck and to the front. And this will help me just glue it nicely and it'll stick nice to the sign. And I'm also going to use some of the trees so it looks like the truck is kind of driving in a forest. So I do the same thing with the trees and with this little sign and that's about it for the Mod Podge. And just make sure you apply it to the top and the bottom like underneath and over top of the design and me measure it. You can still move it around um, the sign like whatever you're Mod Podging because it hasn't stuck yet so if you need to correct it do it right away so apply the Mod Podge and then apply whatever else you want to apply there and that's it for that part of it and then you let that sit and after it sits then you do what you need to do next So after the Mod Podge dries a little bit, I go, it doesn't dry it all the way, but it's dried enough. I apply this um, antique white from, it's just an acrylic paint, it's like an off-white acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. And I'm kind of just dry brushing it to the sides of, like, of the painting, just around it. I'm not dry brushing it too, too dry, but I'm not fully applying it. So, so it kind of gives an effect of kind of blowing snow is what I'm trying to go for. Once that fully dries, you can apply more Mod Podge if you'd like, or you don't have to, depending on where you're going to be keeping it. I'm not going to. It's going to be fine. I don't need to protect it. And here's what it looks like all completed. So before I move on to my second project, uh, my name is Vesna. If you haven't been here before, thank you so much for stopping by. I do budget-friendly DIYs on this channel or thrift flips, basically any kind of home decorating DIY type of stuff I do on this channel. That includes furniture painting, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, um, trash to treasures, anything like that that's on a budget and beautiful, I make it for my home. So that's the kind of stuff you like. Stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can see more. For my second DIY, I'm creating a sign using, I found these big canvases at the Dollar Tree, which I've never seen that big before, so I bought a bunch. And I'm creating a sign using that canvas and this cardboard gift box that I also found at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was really cute. It was a pack of three gift boxes in here. I'm only using the top of one. So what I do is I cut off the edges of the box I use my X-Acto knife at first, but then I wound up using scissors because it's a little bit easier and I can do a better cut with them. And then I wind up wetting the sides of the box and then just like making little tears in it. So that way it gives me kind of a rough, unfinished edge around the box. Now when you're wetting this, you want to make sure that you're not soaking it. So what I'm doing is I put a little bit of water into a cup and I took a paper towel and I'm just wetting the edges and I'm doing it on the back because the back has the, the unsmooth cardboard and I wet it enough just so I can kind of make little tears like so 
and then I do that all around the box and it gives me that perfect edge that I'm looking for. I did say that these were really simple projects to do and they are. Once you've wet this and ripped the little pieces off the edge to give it an unsmooth edge, you then just Mod Podge it onto the canvas. Now I am Mod Podging it onto the back of the canvas because this gives me the opportunity to make a double-sided sign. So again, this is all a part of my budget friendliness. I want to make sure that I can get the full use of things and this way I can use the other side of the canvas in the future for a different project and I can have two pieces of decor. It saves on room and saves on money. So I'm applying the Mod Podge to the back. Now make sure you're, you liberally apply it everywhere around the, the picture. What I did was I just did it around the edges and I should have originally done it all or all like on top of the, over top of the whole painting or whole um, box, but then I go back and I put it underneath. But this will help with some of the wrinkling, but I think the wrinkling gives it a little bit of that aged look, but I didn't want quite that much wrinkling. And then once you get it on, you do, you go all the way around and over top of the picture. Now this one you do want to protect because you want to make sure that it's sticking to the, the canvas. So you want to put Mod Podge all over it. Now once this dried and I had, I got it exactly the way I wanted it to be, I do a similar effect like I did with the other DIY, with the other sign, except for this one, I'm just using the pure white acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. And I am again kind of dry brushing it around the edges on the canvas as well I'm getting a little bit on top of the picture itself and it's just to kind of look at make it look like it's seamless like it's kind of on there and it was supposed to be on there you'll see what I mean once I get going and finish it but to me it just gave that finished look I then left it to dry for 24 hours. This gave the Mod Podge enough time to cure as well as the paint to set in and it just turned out really really beautifully. Here is the finished sign and I just love it and it cost me well two dollars but really less because I got three boxes in one package so really easy two really easy signs to make. Here they are again Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and for taking the time to watch these videos. Please leave me a comment. Tell me which one you like better. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed video 10 out of my 12 days of Christmas. So two more to go. You made it this far. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can get a pop-up every time I post. Thank you again. Have an excellent day. Stay safe. Merry Christmas.